Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Jim Otmer with uh, the Salvador Company. I just wanted to start off saying that I miss you guys and, and you girls. Uh, it's been nice to be able to get out and see those that I can, but uh, I really do uh, miss the opportunity to, to be together and to uh, talk food waste uh, and talk about our industry in general. Um, so uh, hopefully we'll get to see you all uh, here real soon. Um, it seems like things are opening up pretty good. I'm getting a lot more requests, requests for travel. So uh, if, if you need a visit or you need a follow-up, please feel free to let us know in the chat. Uh, I'll be reviewing and answering those later. Um, uh, I also would like to kind of go over a little bit of 2020 and, and what we had done and what I had done um, for Salvador. Uh, we have a, a much more uh, significant social media and digital presence. I'm bringing it up because I've got $300 burning a hole in my pocket. I'm going to give away three $100 gift cards to Amazon <clears throat> if you go and participate. What you'll need to do, and uh, I will try to show the video towards the end, it's a YouTube video, but our YouTube channel is up and running. Um, there is a YouTube video on how it works, the Salvador Disposer Systems. If you go to the Salvador YouTube channel and go to the YouTube video tagged, how it works, Salvador Disposer Systems, and if you type in hashtag Salvador Strong, you'll be entered to win a $100 gift card. Um, I'm going to do three of them, uh, one for today, one drawing tomorrow, uh, and then one the next day. So over the weekend, we'll, we'll be in touch. Okay. So make sure you subscribe and hit the uh, notification bell. So if you do get tagged, you'll know. So you can come back on Monday just to make sure. But that's where I'll be kind of mentioning you've won. So this is an IFED only thing. It's just for this conference and for you attendees. So once again, take a look. We do have a YouTube channel. Uh, I'd like to promote that. The video that you'd be tagging is specific to some of the stuff that we're going to talk about. And that's about two-handed scrapping systems. So kind of a, a brief deal there to kind of catch up uh, everyone on some of the stuff that's happened and, and what's going on today. Hopefully things are picking up for all of you. It seems that way the orders are coming in. So a um, couple of items that I'd like to start off with <clears throat> that might be a little less engineering and just a little bit more in general and, and helpful. Salvador uh, produces a majority of the product <clears throat> that we have here is made in the United States. We can't put made in the USA on our products because we use Baldor Motors. Baldor Motors uh, imports a few components from Germany uh, to, to uh, make their, their components operate for us. But that being said, currently, Salvador is at zero lead time on disposers and disposer packages. So those products are ready to go and you just need to get those orders in and we can ship right away. As it pertains to our systems, our systems are at about a one week lead time. And the reason that we're on about a one week lead time for our systems is simply because we need to get your drawings in, we need to review your drawings and approve them and then get them queued in, and we are very busy. Our system sales are up significantly. For those of you in the Midwest, that is where we are seeing big numbers right now. So thank you uh, for, for all the work that you're doing. We, we appreciate what's, what's going on out there. So uh, thank you again uh, on, on that. So into the engineering kind of part of what we're here to talk about and, and what we want to kind of cover quickly uh, and then I'll get to the systems because I've only got 25 minutes and I'd, I'd really like to make sure I get to that. But on our disposers, we introduced a new package about a year and a half, two years ago called the WSP. It's the water savings package. The water savings package is in auto quotes for you. So you can simply go straight into auto quotes and type in you know, the, the voltage and phase whether it needs to be a cone mount or a sink mount, 
uh, and then the horsepower, and then it'll give you what you need for that package. The reason that the WSP is important is one, it helps lock out any other competition. Nobody has a, a, an operator sensor on their disposer package the way ours works. It's patented, it's one of a kind. And basically what that sensor does is it mounts on the throat of your garbage disposer. It faces out to where the operator would be. This sensor is a proximity sensor. So it will sense if someone is standing there or working and, and working. If that person leaves, it senses that the operator is no longer working or has gone over to do uh, another job somewhere else uh, or gone on break or whatever. But what happens is we reduce water consumption by 80%. And then we start down a timed run feature. That countdown can be set from anywhere from 15 seconds to three hours. And what it's gonna do during that time that it's counting down is it will reduce by 80% the water flow that is going through the system. Now, one of the main reasons you wanna continue having the water push through the system and out into the pipes is you're trying to push the food waste out of the, the operator's plumbing and into the treatment, okay? So the, the water savings package just kind of adds that constant post flush in while they're not actively um, scrapping dishes and, and utilizing uh, the disposer. When that person does come back, it will sense that someone has come back to work. It's about a three to four second delay. And what that does is it ramps back up to full operational capacity so you can start grinding, okay? I'm not gonna go into the 101 on what a slurry is and all that other stuff since we're, we're a little tight on time, but what it basically does is it helps you kind of manage the, the operation we, we do know that when you sit down at the design end, people will tell you they have two to three people for that dish pit. Uh, and then when you get out and you see the actual operation, there might be one person, there may be two people operating. So uh, the people are pulled in a lot of different ways. And what this system is doing is it's keeping you functional and a lot less, it's, it's more hands-free. So a lot less touching, uh, a lot, you know, call it more contactless, that kind of thing. Um, but that is one way that we, our, our system has been kind of a benefit. It does lock out other people so you can lock in your spec. Um, and it is a great feature to talk about to those operators that have older plumbing and have food waste disposers, okay? I'm, I'm stressing the post flush and the forcing the food waste out of the operation because, you know, as engineers and as designers, we have a responsibility to our operators, okay? Um, yes, there are laws and rules that can govern uh, not having a garbage disposer. We have another solution for that, but I wanna kind of zero in on um, those opportunities where maybe you're using a scrap basket and a pre-rinse instead of a garbage disposer to get rid of the food waste, okay? When you're simply using a pre-rinse and a basket, to scrap and rinse racks, all you're really doing is you're, you're taking that food waste and you're pushing it down into the pipes where it's gonna just coagulate. That's where you get a lot of plumbing issues, you get a lot of odor issues and things like that. Remember with a pre-rinse and just a basket and, and spraying stuff off, you're not getting the dishes very clean to go into the dish machine first off, but you're, you're just basically rinsing food waste down into the, the plumbing, which creates huge issues. And at max, you're getting 1.6 gallons per minute of flush. That's not enough to push that stuff out into the treatment and out of the operator's plumbing. When you're using a garbage disposer, a one horse or a two horse is using five gallons per minute. And then a three or five horse is using up to eight gallons per minute. All of these items, um, when they're in operation, are utilizing that water to help create that slurry and, and force the food waste out of the plumbing and into the treatment. It's a very important thing to kind of know because 
Otherwise, the, the folks are utilizing uh, trash bags and pre-rinses, okay? So they're basically taking all of the, the food waste that can't go down into the plumbing and stick there. They're putting it into plastic bags and then they're lugging it out to the dumpster to go into the landfill, okay? So very expensive carting fees nowadays in a lot of areas, especially if you're on the West Coast or the East Coast. Um, some of these denser areas, it's very expensive to put food, uh, food waste into a landfill. Now, if you put too much into the landfill, you get charged a surcharge, okay? So one of the best ways to get food waste out of an operation is through that garbage disposer and grinding it up and sending it out into the treatment facilities and letting, letting them handle that. We're putting 750 football stadiums of food waste into landfills every year just in the United States of America. It takes a head of lettuce about 70 years or 77 years to uh, dis disappear and dissipate into you know, our, our environment and that typically goes out as methane, which is uh, uh, not a sustainable gas. It's not a gas that you want uh, to have in our environment. So just some quick notes on food waste and, and how it's handled and why it's handled. If you don't have the budget to use the WSP and you're gonna use a manual reverse start stop, please add the post flush onto that disposer package. What the post flush is, is it's simply an option that you can add on to a standard <clears throat> package. And what it does is after you finish, after you hit the stop button, it will continue to run the water through the system for 20 to 30 seconds. And what that's doing is it's just finishing the job and pushing the food waste further downstream. So if there's more questions on disposers, I'm happy to answer them. If there's some clarification needed on that, I'm more than happy to, to spend, spend some time uh, getting you answers and, and, and discussing that uh, a little bit further.